Oh, glory be to God. Let me tell you, something's getting ready to happen in the body of Christ. If I can prophesy this before we go. I hear the Lord tell me something, and He's telling me some instruction. The Lord says that within the next seven days, by the time the next seven days are over, there are going to be some major, major shifts in the body of Christ. There are going to be some people that God has sent all over the world and their spiritual sons and daughters are getting ready to come forth. There's a church that must get ready for the next outpour of the Holy Spirit that's coming. There's some people with major voices that the Lord says that he's about to call forth for the next generation. The Lord said he's about to raise up the next generation. But he says they must be ready to receive it. He said there is a remnant that are ready to receive it. I see the mantle of the Lord coming down upon God's people. There's a new mantle. There's a new dimension. There's a new anointing that's about to be released even in the next seven days. In the next, within the next seven days, within the next seven days, the Lord says that there is a glory be to God. The Lord says that there is a people that are about to come forth. The Bible decrees and declares that the priests were anointed priests in seven days. So I decree and declare that this day, for the next seven days, starting the 21st, starting the 22nd, starting the 23rd, the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, those that would seek the Lord in a quiet place, those that would seek him where he may be found, the Lord says he re he's releasing a fresh anointing upon the earth realm. Soon the entire church shall know it. Soon the entire body of Christ shall know it. Because the Lord says, oh, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I can't say all that I see, but I will just say this. The entire church, the entire church across America, I see the church across America. I see the church in other parts of the world of Asia, Europe, Australia, other parts of the world. There is going to be a great knowing, a great knowing that the things that are about to happen, that one who does not have revelation will say it is a sad thing. One without revelation will say, uh, I did not know. But one with revelation will say, I knew. Or one with revelation will say, I know what God is doing. One with revelation will say that this is a sign to the entire church across America and around the world. That this is a holy sign that the Lord is about to do something new. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. The Lord says that before the, before the greatest revival the world has ever seen, some things that have been are going to seem to fade away. Some things that have been are going to seem to fade away. But the Lord says the new thing shall rise in great power. The Lord says arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. People that were in the back. The Lord says that over the next week and over the next couple weeks, but over the next week, especially the Lord's about to bring up a, a mighty pushing to every person that is that he's drawing and he's preparing those that have been on the backside of the desert for the last seven years, we're coming up and we're approaching the time of the great reveal that the next moving of the spirit is not going to be 
a one man show, but it's going to be a remnant of people in different locations and regions who will all begin to walk in the spirit of Elijah in the earth realm. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord even say that there are some, there are some that I'm trying to speak this as well as I can without saying everything that I see. But the Lord says there are some that he revealed himself to. There are some that he spoke to face to face. There are some that spent time in his presence. There are some who did a great work in the earth realm and all the nations of the world were blessed through them. And the Lord says that he's preparing the next generation. The Lord says he's preparing the next generation. He's preparing the next generation. The next generation is about to come forth. The Lord says there is an instruction. There is an instruction. I didn't know the Lord was going to do this, but I must obey him. I've been on here a long time. I was planning on being done, but I must say this. The Lord even tells me that I'm going to begin to seek him and I'm going to pray as to what he wants me to do. The Lord may want me to be on here for every night for the next few nights. But I'm going to pray and make sure that's what he wants me to do. Because I know he may want me to be with him by myself or he may want me to be on here. But I'm going to share it with you soon as to if we'll be on here. But let me just tell you, there is a moving of the spirit that's going to require some secret time with the Lord. The Lord said that this is a supernatural week. The Lord says that he's about to bring forth restoration in your life. If you're watching me, it's not by accident. The Lord said he's about to bring restoration in your life. The Lord says something supernaturally is about to change supernaturally in the next seven days. The Lord says that you will not recognize what the Lord is about to do in your life within the next seven days. I also hear the Lord say this. The Lord says, in seven days, I anointed my priest. The Lord says in the next seven days, if you give yourself to prayer, if you give yourself to fasting as the Spirit leads you to fast, I'm not telling you to fast every day. I'm telling you to fast as the Spirit leads you to fast. Give yourself to fasting and give yourself to prayer. Really seek the Lord for the next seven days. The Lord says there's a divine anointing coming. The Lord said at the end of those seven days, if not by then, a couple of weeks from now, we are all going to see the body of Christ is all going to see a huge sign and a major sign to this to the body of Christ. We're going to see a huge sign to the body of Christ, not only here, but around the world, around the world. I even see. I even see there are men of great influence who will begin to they will not be able to avoid Christianity. And this is major what I'm telling you right now. This is major what I'm telling you. I hear the Lord say there will be some presidents, prime ministers, people in high office, not only in the United States, I want you to hear this, but these are nations around the world who will feel left out if they don't acknowledge Christianity. When what's about to happen, I'm not sure exactly when this is going to happen, but I do see something happening. It's going to be, I, I sense in my spirit that it could be within the next couple of weeks, but we could just be in that season of it. So, but let me tell you, it's, it's coming very soon. And when this occurs, not only will the president of this nation and the, those in, in high office, they have it in their hearts to speak to this matter, but they will, there will be presidents and prime ministers and people of dignitaries around the world who will feel as if they have went 
silent when they should not have during a time when the entire world will begin to acknowledge Christianity and it's going to come at a price. But at the price, they will begin to speak concerning Christianity around the nation and to the nations of the world. And after this, there will be restoration in those remnant. The Lord said, this is, this is the time I'm getting you ready. I'm preparing you for a great work. I want you to hear this. And it's the last thing I'm going to say. Seven days, seek the Lord, fast and pray, get in a solitary place for seven days because there's an anointing that's about to be poured out from heaven and you don't want to miss it. There's a supernatural power being about, uh, it's about to be poured out from heaven and you don't want to miss it. This is the last thing I'm going to say and then we're going to go. In seven days, the priests were anointed priests, but watch this. Job experienced the trial of his life and he cursed the day in which he was born. And there's some people who may believe that it's around this time or somewhere around this time that the day that Job was born was eliminated from the calendar. There's some people that don't even understand the power of a leap year the power of it not being a leap year. The calendar that we're on literally takes a day off the calendar. The calendar that the Jewish, the Bible is based on, they add an entire month for a day. A month for a day. I want you to hear this in the spirit. I hear the, I hear the Lord say that this next move of the spirit that's about to take place is going to be an outpouring upon a remnant, they're going to experience a greater anointing. And that the month and the season and the time in which Job cursed a day, the Lord says, I'm going to bless you in a day. The Lord said, I'm going to do a quick work. As the Lord said, I took a day away for, for the darkness of his life. The Lord said, I will add a day. I will add blessings. I will add increase. I will redeem the time as you are faithful to me. And the Lord says, as Job received double for everything he lost, those that seek me where I may be found, the Lord said, you will receive double. The Lord said, you will receive double for the pain you will receive. Somebody needs to praise the Lord right now. The Lord said, you will receive double for everything that you've gone through, everything that you've lost, everything that you've faced. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So I may be on here tomorrow night. I need to seek the Lord and ask him and be sure if he wants me to spend this time on here with you all or if this is time that I'm going to spend privately praying. So I want to be sure of that. So I do what God wants me to do. You all have a blessed night. I appreciate you spending all this time with me. We went way over the time, but I had to release what the Lord was telling me to release. There's a great anointing about to hit the United States of America. There's a great anointing about to be released around the world to a remnant. Get ready for it. Amen. I love you with the love of Jesus. Amen. Bye-bye.